proof of vaccination requirements could be the key to allowing hard-hit businesses across the U.S. to fully reopen. However, many businesses have been reluctant to demand proof of vaccination from customers, as the public and politicians in many places have made it clear they don't care for the idea. In fact, far more states have banned proof of vaccination policies than have created smartphone-based programs for people to digitally display their vaccination status. Hawaii is the only state enforcing some version of a vaccine passport, requiring travelers to upload a photo or PDF of their Hawaii vaccination document or pass a pre-arrival COVID-19 test to avoid having to quarantine for 10 days. By contrast, at least 18 Republican-led states prohibit the creation of so-called vaccine passports or ban public entities from requiring proof of vaccination. Several of those, including Alabama, Florida, Iowa, Montana, North Dakota and Texas, also bar most businesses from denying service to those who aren't vaccinated. AMC Theatres is continuing its return to business as usual. AMC Stubbs A List, the movie theater chain's membership program, is set to be reactivated July 1st after being suspended in March 2020. The bakery cafe chain Panera Bread is the latest business to roll out a COVID-19 vaccine freebie. From July 2 to 4, the chain is giving away free bagels to vaccinated customers at participating locations nationwide, without proof of vaccination. Keep refreshing this page for the latest updates. Want more? Sign up for our Coronavirus Watch newsletter for updates to your inbox and join our Facebook group. The virus that causes COVID-19 did not originate at the Wuhan seafood market, confirms a new study of deleted gene sequences from the virus's earliest days. The sequences had been posted to a website run by the National Institutes of Health, but were removed for unknown reasons. Jesse Bloom, who studies viral evolution at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle, does not suggest an answer to the question of whether the SARS-CoV-2 virus jumped directly from animals to people or was accidentally leaked from a research lab in Wuhan, China in his new report, which has not yet been peer-reviewed. But by studying how the viral genes mutate over time, researchers like Bloom can reconstruct their history, figuring out which cases came first and how the virus changed as it moved through the population. These sequences are informative for understanding early SARS-CoV-2 spread in Wuhan, Bloom said. They're not transformative, but they fill in some really important gaps. Bloom knows that the deletion of the sequences will raise suspicions in the public, but he says there are many reasons a researcher might ask for material to be taken offline, including the fact that the week the study was posted, the Chinese government instituted a requirement that it review all scientific information related to SARS-CoV-2 before publication. Read more.